Welcome back to the Perfect Season Podcast. This is amazing podcast. Uh, you already know the deal. This is Super Amazing Podcast. Talks about everything, all things sports, and absolutely nothing to do with milk and cookies. My name is Alex. Well, today, one day Andy. maybe we'll throw some milk and cookies in there. Uh, one day. Uh, not, one not, day. Right now. not right now. We're, maybe we're, next week. We're lazy and we're tired, so no. Um, Life is okay. full time. <laughs> yeah, no, it's every day now. Uh, so Three jobs. Week eight predictions. I'll tell you what it was now. Um, everyone went over 500 so there's good news everybody did go over 500 which was um i don't want to say it was shocking judging some of the games but it's always nice to see when everybody's above 500 uh so first place was leon leon has the has the highest win loss ratio right now in, this in, in the week. week in the week let me put it that way since we started doing this last year okay yeah. excuse me leon excuse. finished leon finished 14 and one and Even though he is not on the episode now, but, but still, I mean, he still sends in thoughts up to him. Leon, Leon, he has the record for most amount of wins in a single week, and also the record for the least amount of losses in a single week as well. And also the closest, the closest person ever being undefeated on the show. So Going undefeated this week, I got a good feeling. Mm, well, there's only there's only thirteen games this week, so you have a better chance at it. So Leon yeah. was fourteen and one. Frankie twelve and three. I finished eleven and four. Anthony, I'm at eight. Anthony was eight and seven. So then this is now the updated rankings. Frankie is still in first. 70, 75, 47 Damn. and one. Leon, 70, 52 and one. Me, 66, 56 and one. Anthony, 65, 56. So it's, it's and still one. technically the difference, game. the difference between first and last place is only 10 games. Is that a lot? Yes, but a couple but of good weeks of planning if, and that, you know, that gap can be closed. If I had, let's say I win 10 games this week. Mm-hmm. No, eight games. Eight and five. You'd have to hope Frankie just has a worse record than you to help close the gap. Yeah. That's all that, that's all that matters at the end of the day. It doesn't matter about how, how good you are predicting. It's just that the yeah. people above you have a lower record than you. Um, but yeah, so with all that being said, week nine, we only have 13 games this week. Six teams are on by um we have the thursday night game prime amazon prime video game i hate it i hate amazon prime i don't mind it i mean i prefer nfl network if you have a way if, if you got if you got a way to get oh. prime video then it doesn't philadelphia or houston philly and a landslide uh, i think it's pretty obvious i mean i don't see houston winning this game at all okay and you know what was even terrible philly what? put J- Gardner Minshew in on Sunday. I mean, when you're beating a when you're beating a team 35 to 13, you kind of have to put in the backups just to make sure that your, your starters are healthy and that there's no any unnecessary injuries. Um, Chargers at Atlanta. Give me the Chargers. Coming off of a bye week as well. I will also take the Chargers in this matchup. We have Miami at Chicago. Miami. I will also take Miami. Carolina at Cincinnati. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm taking Cincinnati. I'm rolling with Cincy. Carolina's not a good team. Even though P.J. Walker did have a decent game. P.J. Walker had a great throw, but still. Uh, Green Bay at Detroit. Oh, good God. I mean, I know what I'm rolling with. I'm 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 rolling with an upset this week. Okay, so you're picking Detroit. Because Detroit did technically – did they beat them last year in Detroit? Uh, I know they beat them. They, they beat, beat them, they I know. They beat the Vikings at home. It was, I don't know about the Packers. I mean – the Lions Washington. always play better. They play better against the Packers. So are you picking the Lions? I'm picking the Lions. I'm going to go Green Bay. They lost TJ Hawkinson. I think that's a bigger hit. I think that's that a bigger, is a big hit, yeah. I think that's a bigger loss than what people are trying. Are, are I forgot allowed. about that trade. I, 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 Detroit's offense is still rolling. I mean, they were still able to put 27 points You have points a Monroe St. Brown. You have um, Jan, Jim, the receiver. Um, Amon Ross St. Brown, yeah. No, who was their first round pick? Jameson Williams is still injured. Shoot. Um, you also have John, not John, DeAndre Swift. You still have DeAndre Swift, yes. I'm uh, going to say it. Jonathan Taylor is going to be out of Indy after this year. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think he's just having a bad year. Uh, but speaking of Indianapolis, Indianapolis at New Orleans, uh, New England. 
New England. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Indianapolis is crumbling. Um, Buffalo at the Jets. Oh, good God. Give me Buffalo. We're going to see just how bad of a quarterback Zach Wilson is after this game. Um, Minnesota at Washington. Minnesota, Washington, Minnesota. Is it in prime time or one o'clock? Uh, I, I don't quote me on it. It's a one o'clock game. Okay. Her cousins is still good. Yes. The Vegas Raiders at the Jacksonville. I will be at this game. And you are. I'm taking taking Vegas in a bounce back. I'm taking. I'm taking Vegas in a bounce back. You know, I am going to. I am going to this game. Just, just because, just because the Raiders got shut out uh, last week. I'm also going to pick uh, Vegas. I hope. I do hope it's high scoring. I do too. But I hope they're scoring. Uh, yes, I would agree. Uh, I'll also take Vegas. I think the shutout really hurt the team more than what it does. I think it, it's a, a wake up game. call. I think they're going to be on a revenge game. Seattle. And remember Arizona. the last time. Remember, remember the last time Vegas played uh, Jacksonville. No. Well, in Oakland. No. Jacksonville won their last game, Oakland's last game. Oh, I do remember that. That was pretty funny. <laughs> and Vegas played Jacksonville in the Hall of Fame game. Forgot about that. Yeah, it's right. Yeah. Seattle at Arizona. Oh, this could be a good game. Could be could be a potential. See, Seattle is rolling. Seattle, Seattle's offense. Seattle's offense Seattle's is rolling. rolling. Their defense is looking a lot better than everybody gave them credit. And Arizona. Arizona has DeAndre Hopkins back. And they Kyler Murray make... has to Kyler Murray has to stop playing Call of Duty. God, I mean Cliff Kingsbury just needs to pick new plays. I don't know who I'm going with. This, this could be this could be a very interesting. This game. could be this could be one of those games. It's one of those two teams you don't know. You like both teams in this situation. Do you want to do you me, do me to do you want me to tell you who who's favored to win this game? I want to say Seattle's favored. Arizona is favored to win this game by two points because they are at home. Yeah, but it is Arizona at home. You know what? Give me what's rolling. Give me Seattle. Hawks fly. Uh, I'm also going to take Seattle. Uh, the Geno Seattle Smith, country. The Hawks the. Fly. the the Geno Smith revenge tour is still hot and it's still rolling. Geno so. Smith is out proving people wrong. I'm not, I'm okay with that. I, I, I would. Don't mind. I mean, and then you got Drew Locke, but Drew Locke's terrible. <clears throat> Drew Locke's a backup. I mean, um, Drew Locke. I would take Drew Locke over. Not even half of the quarterbacks, but more than ten. I take Drew Locke over a decent number of quarterbacks right now. Um, I take Drew Locke over Justin Fields. I take Drew Locke over Trevor Lawrence. I'll take Drew Locke over Mac Jones. Yeah, I mean, I take. Drew I'll, say, Lock I'll over. take Drew Lock over Davis Mills. Okay, I think I take Drew Lock over every single the second year quarterback in the league right now. Um, I'll take Drew Lock over. But you know what? I'll take Gardner Minshew over Drew Lock. Yes. All right. Gardner Minshew is underrated. Very. The Rams. I think, I think after this year, he'll be. He'll have a starting job somewhere. I hope so. I really do. Rams at Tampa well. Bay. Tampa. I both both teams are horribly dysfunctional. Both teams have so many problems right now that I, I severely doubt both I, I severely doubt that either team will make the playoffs this year. However, Tampa is a little less dysfunctional than the Rams right now, so I'm gonna take Tampa. I'm still um, taking Tampa. <laughs> Tennessee at Kansas City Sunday night football. This is is it a revenge game? Did Tennessee play Kansas City in the playoffs a while? No, that was those the Bengals in Tennessee. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going with Kansas City. Yeah, exactly. Because you have Malik Willis starting for Tennessee. You have Malik Willis, and the only I mean, I don't know how he how did he do in his uh, first game. He threw a pick, and I don't think he threw for over more than 100 yards. Damn. Yeah. Um, I'll take Drew Lock over him. I mean, he's a rookie. Yeah, I know. Uh, I would agree. I would agree. This, this, this rookie. This, I'll take. This... I'll take Malik Willis over uh, Kenny Pickett. I would as well. I would as well. The most NFL ready quarterback might 
But okay, Kenny Pickett um, needs bigger hands. He has small hands. Kenny Pickett needs to get his head head in the game. Baltimore yeah. and New Orleans Monday Night Football. Give me Baltimore. Baltimore. I just like seeing the Saints lose. <laughs> well, now, now you now you hate the Saints a little bit more after last week. I no, I always hate the Saints. Just like your I'm hatred saying, for the Patriots. I hate the Bills more than I hate the Patriots. Okay, your hatred for the Bills is my hatred for the Saints and the Chiefs. What and the, the Chargers. No. What, what the no. Divisional rival. No. Instead of the Chiefs, the Chargers. Yeah. Because when the Raiders play the Chargers, that's always a good game. I mean, week one was closer than I thought it was. It was 24 and 19. Oh, the Raiders, when it's in Vegas, it'll be a good game, trust me. Wasn't that game in Vegas start off the year? No, it was in L.A. Uh, I thought it was in Vegas. Uh, anyway, that'll be it for this episode. That will do it. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll be back next week with more overview and more predictions. And um, more people. And more people, hopefully. But with all that being said, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys then.